So I'm making chicken biryani today. It's uh, one of my signature dish. Um, first you need to marinate chicken with little uh, turmeric, salt and the chopped curry leaves. Just stick and marinate for an hour or so and uh, just have to cook it by itself. Maybe you can add um, one or one tablespoon of oil and once it's all cooked, uh, keep it aside. Um, then I'll show you the next steps, okay? Take uh, a bowl and add half cup of water and you need to soak all the spices in there. Those are cardamom. So you just have to soak this for a while. You know, you, after you drain this, you can use this water. Um, you can add this water with the rice to cook because this has nice flavors to it. Even the chicken, when you when we cook, we can use that water. You shouldn't throw the, wa the water from the cooked chicken and uh, the water from here, I'll add uh, to my rice. Uh, I cooked the chicken for uh, uh, 20 minutes by covering the pot with um, one tablespoon of sesame oil and I'm going to drain the remaining water and keep aside and I'll add that water with the rice, okay? Uh, this is how the one I marinated it with just uh, salt and turmeric and some curry leaves. That's all I put there. So let's drain uh, this water. There's a lot of water at the bottom. I'll drain and I'll show you. So this is the water I drained from the chicken. Uh, I'm going to add this uh, with my rice. Um, when I measure, you know, water with the rice, you know, one cup rice with the one and a half cups water. So I'm going to add this chicken broth that I got from. See, I drained all the water, just the chicken pieces left now. So I'm going to use this uh, organic white basmati rice uh, to make the chicken biryani okay so these are the ingredients um, i made them ready for the chicken biryani um, i have one medium sized tomato chopped and uh, coriander little bit chopped and little bit of curry leaves here just a um, little bit and this is mint i chopped them maybe it's like two tablespoons and some onions two tablespoons and um, four green chilies chopped and I have ginger garlic paste I'm going to use um, maybe two tablespoons and this is the chicken broth I got from um, chicken that I cooked and these are the spices I've soaked in the water I'll just drain this water like this and use that this water also with the rice and I'll use one uh, coconut milk can um, I'm going to use four pounds of chicken which is like whole chicken uh, five cups of rice if I want if I feel like adding I might add one more cup but uh, usually for whole chicken which weighs around four pounds uh, it's five cups of rice and one can of coconut milk and um, I'll show you let's start cooking so this is, this is the chicken broth so this is the chicken broth I'm going to put all the 
chicken broth, coconut milk, everything ready to add to the rice, okay? And this is the coconut milk, one can. And I'm going to drain these soaked up spices in here. Look at that. This one here will have so much flavor in it. So that's the that's what gives um, a lot of nice flavor to the rice and the tomato also, especially when I add to it. Uh, it has nice um, delicious and unique taste to it. Uh, this is my favorite recipe. You know, every recipe has stories, right? Um, you know, sometimes you have the stories on your favorite recipes, right? And this recipe, I got it from um, my friend and uh, she was my roommate also. It was many years ago in during college days. Um, her mom used to make this biryani and bring in the train traveling for eight hours. She used to bring in a foil tray. It used to taste so delicious. So I had to, you know, get the recipe from her mom. And since then, this is this became like my signature biryani recipe. Every time I made, um, they love it, you know. So they always say, my family always says, uh, this is the best biryani. Um, they were eight, you know. It could be, you know, everybody likes a different taste, but according to our taste, this was really good. Um, maybe not everybody might like it, but uh, I thought I would share since it's my signature biryani recipe. And I would like to share my friend's uh, name. Her name was uh, Rosemary. Beautiful name, right? Rose and Mary together. Uh, she was a very good friend of mine. I still talk to her. And uh, I always thank her for giving me this recipe. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Let's start cooking. I'm going to cook uh, in this big pot today. Look at that. Um, I wish I had a bigger rice cooker. I only have 10 cup max. But uh, since I'm already using 5 cups, which is cooked rice 10 cups, but then I'm adding a lot of chicken, so that's not enough. So I decided to cook in this big pot. Hope this is good enough and it comes out good. Um, once the pot is hot enough, let's add a little bit of oil. I'm using a little sunflower oil and um, 2 teaspoons of uh, ghee. And a small piece of butter okay that's good enough because you need to cook all the spices right first so i added one tablespoon of sunflower oil two teaspoons of um, ghee and uh, i think it's um half of one fourth i don't know what that is of butter small piece let's uh, make sure it's all melted and hot enough to add the spices okay Looks like the oil is hot enough, so let's add the spices that I drained. Make sure I get everything. Look nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice uh, aroma and flavors to the biryani. I'm just breaking the flour that uh, it's not big enough. So let it fry a little bit, then we'll add the other ones, okay? And I'm going to add one teaspoon of whole peppers, just this much, not a lot. That's it. Looks like it's all fried good. Maybe a few more minutes. Once you know those uh, cardamom starts popping, then it's, uh, it means it's all ready. Mm. Smells good already. Look at that. So I'm going to add onions next with the green chili. And uh, the onions, uh, you have to fry them uh, a little darker until they 
becomes like dark. It might take um, five minutes. Once the onions turn a little dark, then I'll add all the other stuff. And uh, I heard um, from someone, if you add a little bit of salt, they fry faster. Let's see, I just put a little bit, okay? Maybe they, you know, it's much quicker for the onions to fry, so. See, they're already caramelized, like I don't know if that's the right word. See, they're already dark. So let's, uh, it took only less than uh, three minutes. So I added the 3 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. I made this at home. I don't buy it from here. You know, it tastes much better if you make it at home. So no preservatives and all in there, right? So I just add a little salt and freeze it. And um, every time I need to use it, I'll take out and uh, deep up. I'll save in like small, small containers. That way it's easy to use one by one. So. And uh, we have to fry this uh, until it stops uh, touching the base. So it has to, otherwise you have to get rid of the pungent uh, ginger garlic uh, flavors. So that's why we need to fry them at least for, you know, three to five minutes, not too long. And the onions didn't take much time, you know, I put a little more than medium clean. So it took only three minutes to get them uh, dark. You can get that smell, you know, once it's all fried good, you can tell by the smell. And the ginger garlic is very good for you also, right, for the health. I'll show you once it's done. So it looks like it's all done. Um, this is stainless steel pot. You need to use stainless steel spatula to separate, but this makes a lot of noise. I just didn't want to do that when making a video, but um, it looks like it's all done, see? Once it starts sticking to the pot, then it shows it's done, it's all good. You can taste it, you know, also a little bit and see if the pungent taste is not there anymore. Then it means it's done. So now let's add some tomatoes. Make sure the tomatoes are soft, you know, if you have to cook them well. Maybe I add a little more, but um, this was a large one tomato I used. One medium tomato should be good enough, but if I said um, it's okay, let's add a little more today. It should be fine. As per recipe, one medium tomato should be fine. I'm just using the one large tomato today. Once it's all soft, I'll show the next steps. And uh, I'm covering the pot because the tomatoes will cook much faster. Shouldn't take more than two, three minutes. So let's check, it should be ready by now. So it looks like it's all done. See, make sure the tomatoes are all soft, you know, like they can form like a, it'll be like a paste. Looks good. So let's add the mint and coriander. Just added the mint and coriander. Look at that. Smells good, huh? I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder, just maybe half teaspoon. You don't need a lot. I'll add one tablespoon of uh, coriander powder and a pinch of uh, garam masala. Okay, that's good enough. Mm, it smells so good. So now let's. Uh, so I'm going to add the rice now. It's five cups. Let's see, mix once. Mix a little bit. Make sure it's all, uh, nothing is sticking at the bottom. Uh, I guess I can add, you know, since there's so much masala in there, I'm going to add six cups. Okay, six cups. 
I can tell, you know, by looking at it, it has a lot of masala, so I might uh, need one more cup in there. So make sure it's uh, nothing is dark at the bottom. So now you just add water. You don't have to fry or anything, just uh, mix everything. See, this is the water we mixed, right? This is all the water we have. So six cups of rice, it should be six is to one and a half times. So six, seven, eight, nine cups, right? Nine cups of water. So let's uh, measure like this. See, let's measure like this. One. So we have added six cups, right? So I'm going to add three more. Seven. I just added a regular water to the pot. Seven. Eight. Nine cups. That's good. Let's mix all. Oh, look at that. You can taste the salt here. If you need more salt, you can add. Since we didn't add much salt, we need a little bit more salt. Okay, maybe one teaspoon you can add and see, maybe half teaspoon. The biryani has to be a little uh, less salty. So for one cup of uh, basmati rice, it's just one and a half cups of water. Mm, it tastes good. Uh, if you want, you can a little more spices. You can add chili powder or coriander powder, all that stuff. Tastes good all in all. It is really good. I'll just add just a pinch, little more. That's good enough. Since I like coriander, maybe I'll add a little more. One more half tablespoon. That's good enough. So total I added one and a half tablespoons of coriander powder. It's good for you, coriander, right? All these spices are very good for you. Look at that. Mm, that's perfect. Now it is perfect. See? Time to add chicken, then uh, it's good to go. We just have to add the chicken and just spread it. Um, again, you don't have to push inside, just leave it on the top. It's already cooked a little bit, right? Oh, look at that. Can't wait to have the biryani. Um, just have to cover the pot and cook uh, on a low flame for uh, around 20 to 30 minutes. Okay? That's it. And uh, I'll show you once it's done. See, I just took out the cap and uh, just need to mix in between. Looks like it's almost done. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Right? Wow. Look at that. It came perfect. Let's uh, mix a little bit from the bottom. It's kind of a uh, little stuck at the bottom because it's stainless steel. It's always gets stuck a uh, little bit on the bottom. I think this came out so good. Put the stove on the lowest. Just make sure you mix everything. Look at that. Mm. Now you can mix all the chicken. And the rice I used is a organic basmati rice. It's not that long. It's nice if you have a much longer grain for the biryani. Let me try a little bit. Wow, that's perfect. So I'm going to add some um, lime juice. Just add um, two of them because they're tiny limes. So and just uh, add them and mix again. You cannot add lime because sometimes if you add early. It won't cook you know, the rice. So since I added the lime, let's mix one more time. And uh, leave the stove on a low flame for a few minutes. Almost done. You don't need to. You can just switch off and leave on the same uh, heat. It should be fine. Just to have some uh, lime flavor in between, you know. Actually, it tastes even better the next day. Because it marinates, right? With all the flavors. Can't wait to have this. I made this for my friends. See, now it's good. It's all done. I'm glad I used the bigger pot. See, it's almost uh, full. 
let's try this uh, make sure it's always uh, you have to have that little sourness in there so the lime is not enough you can add a little more let's try it's perfect wow this is the best you can try the same way but you can you don't have to use chicken you can use this um, same recipe um, you can do paneer biryani or you can do vegetable biryani or soy biryani anything vegetarian options you can use we can substitute with the chicken, you can use mutton, fish, shrimp, anything you can use, okay? Uh, I hope you all tried this. It's really good, okay? Easy and um, this is my signature recipe from my friend from um, college days, okay? I hope you all try this. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye.